I'm back. Did you miss me? Welcome back to my channel. It's Chloe here and uh, as you can probably tell or maybe you didn't notice because you don't care but I haven't posted in a minute and I was just taking some time off trying to figure some shit out but now I'm back and I'm better than ever. So for today's video I'm in a different setting. I'm currently in my parents bathroom and basically the video that I'm gonna be doing is a Makeup tutorial, but not really tutorial because I can't do makeup for shit Basically just like anybody else during quarantine. I downloaded TikTok and became absolutely addicted It's actually disgusting how much time I spend On that app. I tend to like a lot of beauty videos and there are a lot of products that I see like Recurring on my for you page and I decided you know what what the hell Let me just buy these products test them out for myself and see how I like them So basically all the products that I've chosen are from like I said before from TikTok, and They're all drugstore products. So I got basically all of this at either Walmart or Pharma Pre. I'll list which ones I bought where but they're pretty much available in The same place. Oh Pharma Pre in Ontario is called shoppers shoppers drug mart and I would like to sincerely apologize to all the people I've basically catfished uh, with makeup because clearly I'm a two right now and I'm about to bring myself up to a five and a half. So let me just tie my hair to apply my makeup. I always apply my makeup with a ponytail on no matter how my hair is going to be styled that night unless I do my hair first. But I usually just always have my hair in a ponytail because it's just works so much better. So the first product I'm going to be trying on is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Lip Scrub. So I got the flavor mint. This is what it looks like. It's just a lip scrub. I love shit for my lips, so I'm probably gonna love this. I don't really use, oh. Okay. I never really use lip scrubs because I just always have lip balm on me, so there's not usually much to scrub off. Ooh, it tastes nice. Like it doesn't taste cheap, you know, when things like taste like plastic, it actually tastes like, like mint. So that's good. I'm definitely gonna be using this, especially during the winter, cold fucking Canadian winters, Eight. Eh? Next, we're gonna like do the base of our face. There's actually a TikTok hack that I kept seeing also, which was instead of like, you know, applying your primer, foundation, setting powder and setting spray. You kind of go backwards and you put your moisturizer, which I've already moisturized, and then you add your setting powder, setting spray, and then your primer on top, and it's supposed to give you like a flawless finish. So we're gonna be doing that hack with the TikTok products that I've chosen. So the first one is the Halo Glow Setting Powder. So I heard really good things about this one. I saw it everywhere. Apparently it's supposed to give you a nice glow. I'm just gonna apply a little bit here all over thy face. Oh my god. It says light layer and clearly I don't know what that means. Also my face is like extremely dry right now so Hopefully this halo glow actually does do a glowing effect because my skin is so fucking dry Now for um, setting spray, I chose the NYX dewy finish That's what it looks like. Let's do a spray test. Ooh, it's a nice spray. So Just missed away. Next up we have Primer. So of course I chose the poreless putty primer, which is literally all over TikTok, all over everywhere. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha um, primer, which I've never used and never bought because that shit is expensive. It's supposed to feel like jelly. It's cool. So let's just put this all over the face. It doesn't jiggle as much as I thought it would though, like when Jeffree Star was using it, I'm pretty sure it was this that he was using. It was like jiggling all over the place. Okay, so now that we're done with the base, we are going to be moving into the foundation. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear in the shade 420. Blaze it. So I obviously couldn't really test it out on my face, but this seemed to be a good color for me. It kind of looks like the foundation that I use now, the color. So let's see. I'm gonna put on my hand first. Ooh, 
has a very nice consistency. Don't have my makeup brush right now because I can't find it. So we're gonna be using a beauty blender to apply. I usually never use a beauty blender to apply my makeup. I always use a brush. All right, let's just dig in. Okay, so I did one very thin layer right now and I actually really like the how natural it looks, but I'm also an idiot and forgot to do my concealer first, so. Let's do that. I usually kind of do this anyways, where I add a little bit of foundation first, then I put concealer, and then I put foundation again. I don't know if other people do that, or if I'm just a weirdo, but that's usually what I do. So over here, I have two colors of the e.l.f. Uh, Camo Concealer Satin Finish. So I'm gonna go for the light peach. This is also supposed to be a dupe for um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I actually never used that one and I always wanted to because I heard so many things about it. Oh my God, this smells, this smells so cute. This is very nice. I kind of look dead right now because I have like just my pale ass foundation because I'm super pale, but it was nice. I like this. Now we're gonna go over it with some more foundation. I love how I'm getting ready and I'm literally not going anywhere. Like, not going anywhere. Like, I'm going back to bed. And it's 3 in the afternoon. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more a setting powder onto my skin so that it really just, like, everything just absorbs nicely. Especially around my cheek, chin, and forehead area. So basically my entire face. So the next item is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This smells like summer. Just smells like a beach. I just realized like my head probably got chopped off so many times during this video. Bear with me. Oh, it's not bad. A light application of it is nice. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a heavier brush that has more oomph, for lack of a better word. Oh my god, okay, on camera, it looks like super orange, but it's not that orange in the natural lighting. I can promise you that. I literally just look like I went to the beach. I love this. So the next product I'm so excited to try. I've been wanting to try this for so long. It is the Maybelline New York Cheek Heat. So it is a sheer gel cream blush. So this is, oh, okay, very well sealed, let me tell you. This is a really nice color it's called nude burn and i don't know i saw it i thought it looked cute i have recently grown to love jesus christ this won't come off but i do really like blush so i'm excited to see this but the thing is i'm scared i'm going to make a disaster of myself because i cannot be trusted with difficult using items which i feel like this might be but if i can use it then it's dummy proof so I have it on my hand and I dabbed a bit on my finger and I'm just gonna start one sheet at a time. You have to make the face, the Botox face. I feel like I look like Kris Jenner whenever I do this. Oh my God, this is really cute. Oh, wow. I don't know, I like it. I kind of vibe with it. I just look like I'm consistently blushing right now with these rosy cheeks. I'm obnoxious. So the next product I'm going to be trying is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Jesus. Oh my God. I used to like do my face with so much glow. It made no sense. Like I literally looked like I had a halo all over my face, which I don't, but like it was crazy how much I will put and I'm about to put that same amount. So the next product on my list is the False Lashes Mascara by Essence with extra volume and curl. So I saw a few videos of people using this one and their lashes like grew. Like they were so nice and long and beautiful. And like the thing with me is like I either wear nothing or I want them extremely long, but not like fake looking, just like natural and long and thick and nice. And the worst thing ever is when your 
eyelashes, like your mascara makes your eyelashes look like clumpy, stubby chodes. Like that is the last thing I want. I don't want fucking clumps in my eyes that like I look like me in the eighth grade when I used to take mascara and just, just like, you know, we've all been there girls. We've all done that. I'm a disaster when it comes to putting on mascara. This is the finished product on my eyes. I absolutely love it. I think it's so nice. It's so just like bold. I think this is great and it was so fucking cheap. Oh my God. So the next product is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. The formula is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. So, which again, have not used. So we're just gonna apply this. Overline a little bit. I want to try the TikTok thing I saw where like girls are just kind of ignoring their cupids though. Yeah, see, that does not work with me. Never mind. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it's very nice the color. And I overlined a little bit because I love doing that. I'll show you a little swatch. Oh my God, I'm so professional. It's like very beigey with a little bit of like a little hint of pink. Next, I'm using a Maybelline lipstick. I don't remember what it's called, so I'll just find it and link it in the description below. The color is Nude Lust. It's like a very like beigey tone. I felt like it would look nice with the lip liner I chose. Ooh, it's a very natural nude. It kind of reminds me of like a 2000s color though, like super 2000s. But it's really cute. I like it a lot. I think this is a really nice color for me. It suits my skin tone very well for like, it's like a perfect nude for my skin tone. Now the final product we have is the Maybelline New York Lip Glosses, the Lifter Gloss. They are supposed to be dupes of the Kim Kardashian lip glosses. The packaging is even the same. I don't know which gloss I want to use. I feel like I might just do a mixture of both of them because why the fuck not? So, this is the more like neutral color, which is color ice. Then we have a darker gloss. Oh, yeah, they're very similar to the Kim K colors. And this one's called Stone. This is a nice lip, like tri slash quarfectra. Fat, fat, quarfectra, trifecta, but four. We'll see. This is a very neutral. So this adds a nice gloss to your mouth. I'm gonna dab a bit and try the other one. So now I'm gonna try stone. I feel like this is a really pretty color. Oh, wow. I love this one. Wow, I like this a lot. So this is the final makeup look. Oh my God, I'm literally all dressed up with nowhere to go. So this is really depressing, but I really like the way this look came out. I'm actually really surprised, but now I understand why these are TikTok recommended products. I would probably repurchase basically everything, but basically all the products that I've used, I really love, and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing majority of them. I'm going to be linking them all in the description below, and you guys are gonna see the prices are so cheap. It's so good, like, fuck. Now, of course, no look is complete without a little more shedding spray. I just sprayed in my mouth too. And yes, that is the end of today's video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this, if you like the TikTok recommended products. I was thinking of maybe doing more videos like this. So if you guys liked it, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think I should try out next. If there's any suggestions you guys have, whether it's, you know, beauty related, food related, like activity related, whatever you guys think, just let me know in the comments below or message me or ignore me, whatever it is. But yeah, let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, do everything you have to do, send it, post it, just make this shit blow the fuck up. And thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Okay, so real quick, completely forgot to shout out where I got this cute little tank top from. So they're another Montreal brand called Shop Teaks. I found them on Instagram. They're super cute. All their pieces are actually so cute. So I got this one. It's a little black tank with a butterfly embroidered in it. And I matched it with my sweatpants from OO the brand that I'm 
also really obsessed with. They're both just such 2000s vibes, Y2K, like all that shit that's really in right now. And I just find it so cute. So if you like it, check them out.